Nine here, and today I'll be doing my review on the Lego Batman movie, Catwoman Cat Cycle Chase. So the three figures you get in this set are Batgirl, Robin, and Catwoman. As you can see along here, you also get some really cool features. Here's the front. There's a battering there, Batgirl, Robin, Catwoman's Cat Cycle, the jewelry shop. And on the back, it shows the features. So let's open this up. Okay, that's everything. So here we get an instruction manual, a board, a sticker sheet, a spare sticker sheet, packet two, and packet one. Okay, now I'm ready to build. Cycle chase, and I might just move that because it's a bit distracting. Maybe not, I don't know. For me, it was. Anyway, so here is the finished build of the set, and this is really good. If, if you're making a Lego City mock or some sort of building a Lego City or something like that, the jewelry store is very good for that kind of thing. And then the Catwoman Cat Cycle, I think it just looks absolutely amazing. It's actually a bit better than I thought it would be. Same with the jewelry store. They were both pretty good. So, oops. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and see the figures. So, so, the first figure I thought I'd show you Catwoman, as this set is about her. As you can see, it looks very blue on here, but it is actually purple, a lot more purple. It's because of the lighting, I'm sorry, I'll try. Uh, you can see it's a bit more purple then. Anyway, so here's the Catwoman figure. It has a lot of purple on it, it looks really, really nice, I feel. And it has these really cool silver detailings, as you can see there, and black around it. And then there's her really cool purple belt, which I, I think, I'm not completely 100% sure, but I'm mostly sure that this is the only uh, figure that has the purple belt. And she even has printing on her arms, which can be rare sometimes. And I like how the zip is a cat face, that's so cute. And then there is also the leg printing, obviously, which is cool. Instead of just doing plain purple legs, I like how they did the leg printing. Then under the cat mask, it's just her with the goggles on, I guess. I guess the goggles. And then there's her happy face. If we turn that round, she's not happy, angry. And I really like this Catwoman helmet with the silver around it. Doesn't, goes pretty well on her. She has a black whip, 
which is a bit stretchy, which I really love the black whip. So there is the Catwoman figure that comes in this set. So yeah. Here is the Batgirl figure in the set. And she comes with two yellow batarangs and a yellow cape and a yellow utility belt piece, one of the new ones. And her cape is shiny on one side and then kind of plain on the other. And on her helmet, as you've probably seen already, she has the ponytail for Barbara Gordon, obviously. And it's coming out of the um, cow here. And you can just take this off. Easy. So that's that piece. And then she's smiling on this side of her face. Then on the other side she is not too happy. And then I'll lift up the cape. You can see the printing on the back. And I really like how they put those straps on the boots. That's like really good detail and I like the bits on the arms where it's like part of the glove I guess. And that is the Batgirl figure really with a bat symbol on there. And yeah, so she is, um, she is she's kind of rare she comes in a few sets but this is one of the cheapest way ways to get her in this set and i think it's really good that they added her this next figure robin is one of my favorite figures he just looks so cool <laughs> with his goggles and his expression or glasses really they just look like goggles because of how big they are and his hair and everything, it's just so funny. And he has this little cape. Bat, uh, Batgirl had the spiky yellow cape and he has the regular sort of short, shorter one. And it's the same as Batgirl. It's like shiny and soft and stuff on one side and silky. And then on the other side, it's a bit, it's still silky, but it's not as shiny. And yeah, so Robin, I'll just lift up the cape. So there's the back printing, it's the belt, and it continues all the way around. You could put the utility belt, you get a spare yellow one for Batgirl. You could put it on him, but it would look weird since he will have two belts then, because that one still shows. And I like how he has the um, green gloves and the green um, bits there and it's funny because in the trailers I haven't actually seen the movie yet he rips off that part of the pants so yeah that's kind of funny and then there's the R for Robin there's one expression and then if you turn it around there's the other it's not very happy so that's the Robin figure, and I think he is really cool. Here is the Cat Cycle, the one of the main builds in this set, and it is really cool. I love the design, I love the purple, I love everything about it. You can move these jet engines up and down, which I just showed you. You can move this up and down, that doesn't really matter. You can move this, obviously, there's a light, I really like that, and then... I love how this panel piece has cat ears and it's printed on, which is good, because you don't usually get that. And it's really smooth when it rides. It's, it's easy to put a figure in. I'll just put Catwoman in there and show you. It's easy for them to just, well, Catwoman to just ride around, take over the city, you know, that sort of stuff. So I think it's really cool. Here is the actual jewelry shop. It's jewelry shop itself comes with a red crystal and a see-through crystal, white I guess. And it has a little door here that can open and close. Oop. So yeah, and then on the side it has like a little poster that says help. Then there's a kitten stuck in a tree. 
Then there's a green rubbish bin. Nothing inside though. A lamp post which you can, which is really cool, you can knock down. You can like push it down and the cat cycle can hit it and then crash. And also there's room on the top of the buildings for the figures to fight. There's a nice sticker on there. And then if you turn it around, there's some space in the jewelry shop for them to fight. And, or just put a figure down, which is pretty cool. And that's basically it for this. Oh yeah, and you can move this up and down, obviously. Yeah, but that's it for the little jewelry shop. I, I really like this. It's amazing. If you're making a Lego City mock or something, this would be really good on the corner of the street. I just really like it. It looks really cool. So yeah, that's the jewelry shop. That is it for my review on the Catwoman Cat Cycle um, Chase. It was about 34 Australian dollars. I'm not sure about um, English money or US dollars or stuff like that. So yeah, um, I hope you liked it. I would rate this set about an eight and three quarters or a nine out of ten. It is really good. I really like it. And um, remember to leave a like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Um, I hope you liked it. Thank you for watching. Bye.